Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Dovlev just sent me a few days ago some data with the Lagoon Nebula Messier 8 captured with the Dwarf 2 and the Dwarf 3 Smart Telescope in the same time. They sent me two live stacks, also the raw data, so I can also stack the images and process them myself. However, I didn't have calibration frames. We have here the images and uh, let's begin with the live stacks. Here in uh, Photo Viewer, we have two JPEGs with Messier 8 capture with the Dwarf 3 and here with the Dwarf 2. And these are straight from the units, from the smart telescopes and I believe they had also applied AI and hands-on. I do see here the contrast stronger on the Dwarf 2 image and also a little bit larger field of view, the Lagoon Nebula being smaller. And comparing here with the other image, Dwarf 3 has a huge quality improvement compared with the Dwarf 2. Better, uh, smaller stars. We can see here how um, large are the stars in this image. And we can zoom in to see better. See the stars look bloated. Also, having 150 mm focal length does help a lot, compared with the Dwarf 2 that has only 100. It seems the focus was not perfect here in this stack. Integration time, there were about 400 images of so 15 seconds, gain 80 for each uh, telescope. We had about 100 minutes integration time. And here we have the both stacks. Actually, with the Dwarf 2, I had 413 images of 15 seconds stack. And with the Dwarf 3, I had 397. I decided to stack also the raw data in serial to see also the results by stacking the raw images. And let's take a look at the Dwarf 2 image stack. Go script. OSC preprocessing without flat, so we'll use the same. Check if uh, here we have the lights. Script will go OS preprocessing without DBF. Okay, and run script. And here are the results from Serial. Without any calibration frames, as I mentioned, I didn't have calibration frames, only the light. I stacked only the light frames. And we have here the Dwarf 2 image stack, about 1 hour and 44 minutes. And here 1 hour and 40 minutes integration with the Dwarf 3. Look, huge difference. Also in color, the stars look much better on the Dwarf 3 image. It's uh, very clear to me that the image quality is much better on the Dwarf 3 telescope than on the Dwarf 2. Well, here are the results, the two stacks. Please let me know in the comments what you think about the images captured with the Dwarf 2 and the Dwarf 3. Just looking at the images, I can clearly see more color, more details in the nebula features and better looking stars on the Dwarf 3 image. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Now let's go back in Pix Inside. And I place the images on top of each other, larger, so we can zoom in and compare better. Here we also use gradient correction and blur exterminator to get sharper stars. And on the image capture with the Dove 2, I did another stretch to get the background luminosity closer. Okay, so let's zoom in a little bit and look here after blood exterminator without any noise reduction and let's check also the it does improve but is way behind the door three especially here in the fainter areas also the color is not that great and looking at the stars even with using blood exterminator it uh, we weren't able to correct the stars here we might uh, be able to do it better with the raw image. The raw image stacked, but I didn't use calibration frames on that one, on, on the stacks, so I decided to go with the calibrated uh, stacks, the live stacks here in PixInsight. Okay, so zooming out, here is the Dwarf 3 image, and here is the Dwarf 2 image. Dwarf 2 versus Dwarf 3. If you have the Dwarf 2, it's worth upgrading, I believe definitely so. I will 
Soon I will want to do a similar test myself with a dwarf 2 and dwarf 3. I will go out with both telescopes once we'll have them uh, both ready. Until uh, then I'm very happy that I was able to make this comparison and show you the differences on Messier de Lagoon Nebula from uh, the Dwarf 2 to the Dwarf 3. Okay my friends, so what do you think? Which of these two images you like more? And if you have the Dwarf 2, uh, do you think it was worth upgrading to the Dwarf 3 for the extra quality? and extra features like uh, the Milky Way option for the wide field lens that is an amazing uh, feature to use when you are going out in the summer capturing deep sky objects to be able to capture the Milky Way with the Dwarf 3 it's an amazing feature that I hope I will test it soon my opinion I definitely believe so if you have the budget definitely go for the Dwarf 3 and because time is very precious and if you can uh, get a better telescope on an affordable price like the Dwarf 3 it remains similar with the old price of the Dwarf 2 so if you can get a better telescope get better quality you'll uh, get better images for your time I'm really curious to hear your opinion each one uh, uh, the situation might differ for me Definitely the answer is a yes, because I do want to get better astrophotography images for uh, the time I spent in this uh, hobby and passion. And if you can get good results for me is very important. Looking again side by side, door 3 image is a clear winner, much better looking stars, better uh, nebula details and also better color. What do you think? What do you think about this comparison, about the two images captured side by side with the same settings with the Dove 2 and Dove 3? And if you already have the Dove 2, please let me know in the comments if you are thinking to upgrade to the Dove 3 Smart Telescope. By the way, affiliate links are available in the video description if you are interested in buying the Dwarf 3 Smart Telescope. I want to give big thanks also to all the members that joined the channel and currently supporting the channel out thank you very much it makes a big difference and if you do want also to support the channel feel free to join the channel membership where you'll be able to get access to awesome perks like downloading master photography data including future data that i'll upload with the dwarf 3 smart telescope thank you for watching if you enjoyed Please hit the like button, share, subscribe if you're new and hope I'll see you soon in the next videos. Clear sky everyone.